and WMAC Now. As always, I'm your host, Chuck Stevenson, coming to you from the WMAC Now studios. Uh, another fight review. This time, we're going to continue on with Ryzen 11. We're going to the main event of the evening. It was Kana Asakura versus Reina Kubota 2. Uh, these two fought back in December on New Year's Eve for the final of their Super Atom Weight Women's Grand Prix. Um, Asakura came out ahead in that first fight with a first round rear naked choke. Uh, Reina asked for a rematch. She fought, she had one fight in between that, like she, she had a fight three weeks ago. Uh, she won, and whereas Asakura had a fight against uh, Melissa Karagiannis back at the last Rise in the event, but she won by unanimous decision. Um, going into this fight, I thought it was too soon of a rematch. I think it was obvious that Reina did not have the ground game to compete with Asakura as shown in the first fight. And for the most part, it showed again in this fight. Um, first round. Started off with a minute and a half of absolutely nothing going on. I mean, they just pretty much stared at each other. Uh, finally, Asakura just kind of pawed her way in and shot for a takedown. Um, got it right away. Um, made her way to uh, the back, I believe, and then eventually she went for an arm bar, which at that point Reyna was able to uh, get back up, get up and slam her way out of it, which was pretty nice to see. Um, and again, it ended with um, Oscar wasted almost no time. She didn't want anything to, Oscar didn't want anything to do with Reyna's stand up, as much as Reyna didn't want anything to do with uh, Oscar on the ground. Except, whereas at least Reyna was forced to do something on the ground, Asakura didn't even, like, try to really strike at all. She would just, like, you know, land, throw, like, one, two, wasn't even trying to hit, and just go for the takedowns. Um, and I believe the first round ended on the ground again. Second round, a uh, little bit more the same. Uh, Reyna did force Asakura to strike with her for a little bit at first, and then... Um, Went for a takedown. I believe the first time um, Reyna was able to fight it off for a little bit, but then Asakura was just relentless with it. Got to the ground again. Um, and it, this the fight was just basically a rinse, wash, repeat of that. Of just, you know, anytime Reyna was able to get up, Asakura wasted no time in trying to get her back down. The third fight, th third round of the fight, I would say, was Reina's best. She was getting in some shots, but if Oscar didn't get a takedown on the first attempt, she'd get it on the second attempt. Um, Reina's takedown defense is still just very beyond basic. It's, it's just not that good, especially against someone who's wrestling as high level. That said, though, Asakura, Asakura's striking looks almost non-existent. So, if it were the ops, like, so it, I think if Reyna's takedown defense was just a little bit better, this, this fight definitely would have looked a lot different. Um, things to work on. Reyna obviously needs to work on her takedown defense. Uh, her stance is still way too upright. She's still standing like a kickboxer, shootboxer. Um, so it leaves her very vulnerable to the takedowns. And when she's fighting off the takedowns in the scramble, she would make some very small mistakes. At one point, she had a good sprawl on Asakura, but then she got too lazy, and she got down, whereas Asakura was able to get her head back up above Reyna's, latch onto it, and then just toss her back over and get on top of her. And I believe that was in the third round. Um, so As so Reyna just needs to work on all-around takedown defense. Um, Pressure on the head, push push the head down and away during the takedown uh, defense, um, just all that stuff. Um, Asakura needs to work on her striking a lot more so that she is a lot more confident because eventually she's going to fight someone who can strike and can defend a takedown and she's going to be in for a world of hurt. It might not happen anytime in the future because she's going to be she's definitely going to have to be Ryzen's new uh, female star. They're going to have to push her now. And so they're probably going to give her like these fluff fights, but eventually she is going to face someone who, who can defend takedowns and 
isn't afraid of the takedowns to the point where they're able to strike a little better with her. So Kana's going to have to learn how to strike and not be afraid of the striking. And in the end, it's going to pay off even better for her, her wrestling because if you're not afraid of getting hit or if you know you can strike better to set up your takedowns better, it's just going to be that much easier for her. Um, matches to make after this. Well, the big question would be for the loser, Reyna, is she going to stay with MMA? If not, her other option is shoot boxing, but I think she was talking about one of the videos that, you know, shoot boxing obviously doesn't pay as much as Ryzen, but she has a long way to go in MMA, which she might not be willing to dedicate herself fully to. So she's going to go back to shoot boxing and kickboxing. Uh, maybe Ryzen will set her up with some kickboxing matches. Uh, who knows? It's up in the air. Asakura, again, with Ryzen, it's up in the air. Who do they, they're going to have to bring in someone from outside the organization because they don't really have much of a roster. So who do they bring in? Uh, some people are saying Sahi Hum. Sahi Hum's tied to road. She's Rhodes champion. I doubt that's going to happen. They might have to... They're probably going to end up bringing in some other unknown fighter. Probably someone from King of the Cage. Ryzen seems to like bringing over fighters from King of the Cage who tend to mostly lose in Ryzen. <laughs> so I think that's they're going to bring in someone from King of the Cage. Um, other than that, who knows what the options are. Uh, maybe someone from Invicta, but Invicta's not really part of the Ryzen, you know, fighting network thing that they have going. So I, I don't know. Um, guys, if you watched the fight, let me know what you thought of it in the, link, in the comments down below. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please. Um, honestly, I thought the fight was a lot better than the other female fight on this card, which I'm, the more I think about it, the more it's starting to look like a work. A little bit of controversy there. Um, I'm still not a huge fan of the matchmaking of Ryzen. I just think they're basically setting people up to win very easily. And I think the roster is very weak. They have a lot of room to grow, though. So I'm not being all like Debbie Downer on Ryzen. Um, so again, let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMAC now, the fastest growing women's mixed martial arts platform on YouTube.